Jai Om Vishnupad Paramahansa Parivraja Kacharya Ashtara Shatashi Shri Maj His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Goswami Maharaj Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai Divine Grace Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai Anantakoti Vaishnava Vrinda Ki Jai Amacharja Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Rem Shikaho Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunitananda Shri Rueda Gadadhar Shri Vasari Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopa Gopinath Shamakun Radha Kun Giri Gopinath Dhan ki jai, Shri Vrindavan Dham ki jai, Shri Maipur Navadvi Dham ki jai, Shri Jagannath Puri Dham ki jai, Shri Jagannath Swami Baladev Subhadra ki jai, Shri Shri Gaur Nitai ki jai, Shri Shri Radha Govinda ki jai, Gaur Premanale, all glories to the assembled devotees, all glories to the assembled devotees, all glories to the assembled devotees, all glories, all glories to Shri Shri Guru and Gauranga, Srila Prabhupada, Sri Hari Nam San Kirtana Ki Jai. Namo Om Vishnu Padai, Krishna Pristai, Buddha Vishwani Bhakti Vinam Swami Sanami. Namaste, Saraswati Deva, Guru Vani Pacharya, Deva Shesha Shri Bhakti Vinam Swami Sanami. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Nothing like nice little kirtan. <laughs> I think we need to practice faster. Hmm. Doing very well. Uh, you might be a little frustrated with your progress, but that's only because you're starting to realize how little you can hear and how dependent you are on some outside source of pitch to match your singing. So, uh, but just that awareness is actually making you stronger. So, can you put that over there? Yeah. Oy. So today is Srimate Radharani's appearance day. Srimate Radharani is two weeks younger than Krishna. So, uh, she is his internal potency, his pleasure potency called Hladini. Hla means enjoyable, huh? relishable. So his, uh, Krishna's pleasure potency is Hladini. And he also has two other very prominent potencies, Sandhini and Samvit. And sandini means eternal existence, and samvit means complete knowledge, unlimited consciousness. Uh, so just like God is eternally existing and has complete knowledge of everything, inside and out, 
Also, he has complete transcendental bliss. And these are also known as Sat, Chit, Ananda. Sat means eternal existence or truth. And chit means consciousness, knowledge or consciousness. Ananda means bliss. So this Ananda is coming from Hladini Shakti or Srimati Radharani. All of Krishna's potencies are personal, just like he is. Uh, therefore, we are also personal. We are persons because he's a person. The effect naturally has the qualities of the cause. But the cause must have more qualities than the effect. Uh, just like the parents are always bigger and stronger than the children, uh, more intelligent also. So similarly, uh, God, Krishna, he is unlimited and we are limited. But most of the same qualities are there in us. So uh, when we see in this world the uh, romantic pastimes between a young boy and young girl, then we can know that this potency is also there in Krishna. This quality is also there in Krishna. Uh, Krishna is not a dull, boring, dry, uh, cantankerous old, old guy, up, you know, like Forrest Gump on a cloud, you know. He's, he's a fresh youth, and he's full of all pleasurable potencies. And uh, he's not on a cloud, he's very down to earth. He likes to uh, herd the cows in the forest of Vrindavan and dance with the gopis and play his flute and just generally uh, have a great time. Uh, that's Krishna. Krishna means the ocean of pleasure or the reservoir of all enjoyment. Uh, one time Srila Prabhupada published a little booklet about Krishna because people didn't know who, who is Krishna. The devotees would go out on the street, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. People didn't know what they were talking about, what they were singing about. So they would hand out this little book, Krishna, the Reservoir of Pleasure. And this booklet explains the name of Krishna, Krishna's supreme position, and so on. Uh, so uh, the Reservoir of Pleasure, well, who, who is this pleasure that he is a reservoir of? Well, that's Radharani. Radharani is also unlimited, just like Krishna. And uh, she's also the mistress of so many mystical powers, just like Krishna. So uh, we can understand that Radharani then is very important to Krishna. And uh, she's almost like a female Krishna. <laughs> she's very, very powerful in the spiritual world. And she has so many followers. All the gopis are her followers or her expansions. And the uh, gopis are divided up into different groups according to their services. Uh, some of them, their service is singing and dancing. And uh, some of them, it's cooking and serving the divine couple. Uh, others are decorating the forest bowers. And uh, still others are uh, taking care of numerous other services, even more intimate services than uh, we wanted to discuss here. So all this is going on under the potency of Radharani, and it's all for Krishna's enjoyment. And then there are the Vaikuntas, uh, the millions and millions, actually unlimited number of Vaikuntha planets in the spiritual world. And these are all predominated and enjoyed by expansions of Krishna. And then there's all the material universes and all the planets and stars in the material universes. And these are also Krishna's energy. Uh, Krishna is the proprietor of all of them. And he knows all the living entities in all of the planets. And he enjoys all of them. And so all of these living entities are actually expansions of Radharani. Uh, just like... Krishna, Radha and Krishna are a couple in the, in the Goloka planet. Also in the Vaikuntha planets, you have Lakshmi and Narayan, uh, or the goddess of fortune and the, the Vishnu, supreme controller. Then uh, one particular expansion of Vishnu is Narayan. And the, the Lakshmi who accompanies Narayan is his potency, and 